It's finally that time. The game that has been circled on the calendar all season long. The Bayou Classic. But the biggest game of the year now has the biggest headline of the year. Grambling head coach Broderick Fobbs, three-time SWAC coach of the year, fired just two weeks before the Tigers' annual meeting with Southern. Fobbs leaves Grambling as one of the most accomplished coaches in the SWAC, a 54-32 overall record in eight seasons, which includes two SWAC championships and a black college football national championship. As a former Grambling running back, running back himself, Fobbs won the 1992 HBCU National Championship and served as a two-time captain under coach Eddie Robinson. Now, first-year athletic director Dr. Scott ultimately made the decision to part ways with Coach Fobbs and said the following, quote, Product Fobbs is one of the finest human beings I have had the pleasure to meet in this industry, and he has been a tremendous role model and mentor to our young men. He added that he appreciates his many years of service to Grambling State University and wishes him and his family nothing but the best. We talked to Coach Fobbs right after he received the news, and here's what he had to say. Playing at Gramley State University, uh, this is home. Uh, this is my school, my institution. Uh, it's who I fight for and who I've been fighting for for eight years. Uh, but at the end of the day, you also have to win football games, and I understand that and know that. Right now, what's important is, is me evaluating myself and doing a self-analysis, finding out, you know, what did I do? What could I have done better? Uh, what could I have continued to do? You know, because it's all about improving as a coach. And speaking with former Grambling players and staff, it's hard not to see the special impact Coach Fobbs had on the university and athletics department. Diamante Johnson, who won the HBCU National Championship with Coach Fobbs in 2016, worked as a grad assistant also with Fobbs and is now a head coach of his own here at Bossier High and says he owes everything to his former coach. He meant everything to Graham. He meant everything to me, especially uh, when it came to me being a father, you know, a young coach in the business. Fobbs and I talked all the time. He always gave me partners. When I first got the job, that's where I first went to. And, you know, we had a great conversation about, you know, what it takes to be a head coach. Coach Fobbs gave a young man like myself, I posted on Facebook, a chance to be able to be a part of something great when no one else would. And that's the type of guy he is. That right there tells you a lot about him. Outstanding man. And, you know, he's going to always be that hero in my – he's always going to be my hero in my eyes, you know. Forming Grambling Athletic Director of Football Operations, Michael Armstrong, takes it a step further, saying, quote, he took over a program that was in shambles and built it with love and passion. During his time there, they went through four presidents, three athletic directors, five compliance directors, four sports information directors, little to no academic support, terrible facilities, minimal funding, and he still found a way to compete and win. Armstrong continued, quote, he not only coached the game, but he led the players through life, a true leader and role model. Coach Fobbs and his family deserved better. This is how you repay him. Shame on you, Grambling State University. Good luck trying to fill those shoes. 